Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today is a slightly different video today. Something that I don't think I've ever done before. But um, today is actually a Premier League predi prediction sorry, of next season, the 2021-22 season. So, um... I'm going from 20th place to 1st place, so it will obviously be relegation up to who wins the title. Now, I've tried to be as unbiased as possible, stuff like that. There's not many teams that I properly hate or anything, anyway. But uh, without further ado, I'm going to get straight into it. So, as you can see on my screen... Um, Norwich is my prediction for last place, 20th place. Uh, the reason for that is whenever they come in the Prem, they get absolutely hammered, then go straight back down. Like, I think the last time they were in there, I think they had 13 points or something like that. It was like the, it was either the record or second to the record of being the lowest points in the Premier League ever, I think. So, and I feel like the man on the screen, Buendi, are no longer there. You're thinking of people like Timu Puki, who could have a good season, stuff like that. But I just feel like they're not good enough for the Premier League, but they're too good for the Championship. So that's, that's um, 20th place. 19th place, I've gone for Watford, also... Uh, newly promoted, I feel like they just, they might have a good couple of games, like they might be a good couple of sides as well, but I feel like, again, they just don't have the team to stay in the Prem and compete with the other teams. Maybe if they had signed a few more players, stuff like that, they might have more of a chance, but with the players they have, I cannot see them doing great. So now I'm moving into 18th and the last relegation spot, I've gone with Southampton. Now, in 18th, I have gone with Southampton because I feel like with Danny Ings gone, uh, Ryan Bertrand's gone, there's talks of uh, Ward Prowse even potentially going, like they're getting rid of all their best players and they've signed, as I know, no one. I can't think of anyone that they've signed. So I can see Southampton definitely being um, being relegated next season. And that is my relegation battle uh, prediction. Now going on to just missing out on the relegation battle and 17th is Brentford. Now I feel like they could be an underdog, kind of like Leeds were last, last season. But I think... As good as Ivan Tony is, the rest of the team is just not good enough. I feel like he carried them in the championship. But we will see. You never know. I feel like they're just going to miss out. But only just. I feel like it's going to be like a five point difference or something. Uh, and then, what's this now? 16th, I believe. I'm going with Brighton. Now, I was considering... Brighton being a lot lower, like, potentially, like, in the relegation battle. But I feel like they might just edge it. Because Brighton have always been that team that just do something weird and then just start winning loads of games all of a sudden. Another reason I've put them this low, uh, 16th, is because they've lost their best defender of Ben White. Uh, 50 mil though is a lot of money, so I'll be interested to see if they do sign anyone pretty good. Uh, I think they've actually done very good business there, and Arsenal have actually done very bad business. Uh, I believe this is now 15th, Newcastle. Um, I'm debating putting them, uh, putting them lower, but I feel like with the players of, um... St. Maximin and Dubravka, stuff like that. They just, they might do like kind of mid-table, mid-into-second-page kind of position. Because 
Yes, I thought they were going to get relegated at one point last season. But um, there was this... Tr Callum Wilson, I think his name is. Uh, he was injured for the majority of last season. And I feel like he could have helped them a lot. But I feel like the front three of like maybe Matt Ritchie, St. Maximin and Callum Wilson could do really well. So we will see. It could be interesting. And I believe they've signed... Wolf centre back size, but I'm not quite sure that could be a different team. Uh, um, I can't remember what this is now. Wait, let me just go to right. So it's 20th, 19th, 18th, 17th, 16th, 15th. Okay, 14th. I've gone with Palace. Palace just they just get by because Evs are uh huh. That's all I have to say about Palace. Uh, I believe this is 14th now. I feel like Leeds, they're going to have another good season, but um, not as good as the last. Um, as I feel like with more players back for other teams, teams signing new players, stuff like that. Um, yes, I believe Leeds will just miss out on top 10. Now, uh, Burnley, they're either here or getting relegated. Now, I'm sorry, but I forgot again what. So it's 20th, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. Okay, so it's 12. So I put Burnley 12, but I feel like they could probably finish like 16th because they have a good defence, good goalie. But not much going forward, I've got to be honest. Um, personally, I don't like Burnley because of what they did to Liverpool last season. They were the team that broke uh, Liverpool's unbeaten run uh, due to a penalty, which was given that was very questionable. But it is what it is. We all have to lose sometimes. Uh, so that's 12th, 11th place. I've gone with Wolves. Now, I feel like with Jimenez back, Adama could have a good season. But with Jimenez, Podence, people like that, uh, they've got a fairly decent defence. I feel like they could really surprise a couple of teams, beat a couple of big teams as well. And they always do well against teams like Arsenal, but Arsenal aren't very good anyway. So we'll see. Uh, 10th place, so this is last place on the first page. I've gone with Everton. Now, they had a very good start to last season, but then I can't even remember where they finished. I believe it was 8th. No, it wasn't 8th. I think it was 9th or 10th. But um, I believe Everton are going to finish 10th, as they haven't really signed anyone that will change anything and... They played the same football over and over again. But with the new manager, I believe Rafa Benitez is their new manager. Um, then it could change. But in ninth place, this could be interesting for some of you guys. I've gone with West Ham. Now, I feel like um, they're not going to have as good as the season as last Due to Jay Ling's. Jay Ling's carried them alongside this man here, Declan Rice. And yes, they've bought uh, players like Ariola. Um, and I can't remember if they've bought someone else. But I expect they are looking to buy a couple more players in this market. But I feel like they will not have anywhere near as good as the season as last. As their majority goal scorer was obviously Jesse Lingard. And help them a lot out towards the end of the season. I mean, I think they're in Europa League this year. So that'll be interesting. Uh, okay, now eighth. I have gone with Ollie Watkins. Not Ollie Watkins, sorry. Uh, Aston Villa. Now, I was tempted to put them up a bit higher. But then I had to look at the teams that were already up here. And... Um, it was just a bit mental, really. <laughs> like, um, Aston Villa have signed, who have they signed? They've signed Leon Bailey, they've signed Buendia, they've signed um, 
I believe a centre back, someone else as well. I think they've basically they sold Jack Grealish and they've bought the world. Basically, a bunch of players that might play for lower league teams or something, but are really good. That's uh, my thirteenth spot, I believe. Uh, no, sorry, not thirteenth, eighth, seventh. I've gone for Tottenham. Now the reason this is is because if Harry Kane leaves, I feel like they'll finish below Villa. But if Harry Kane stays, I feel like they'll still only finish seventh, as Harry Kane might not enjoy his football as much, stuff like that. Obviously, they're in the Conference League now. Uh, but I feel like if Harry Kane goes, Tottenham are going to become a very average team. Very, very average. Even with players like Human Son, Hoiberg, Lloris. You know, their defence of... I think aldevira has gone now. So they'll probably play what Sanchez and Romero, the new signing they've bought. But yeah, that is my seventh place. So that's just missing out on... Uh, Europa League and Conference League. Now, as we all probably know, getting into um, sixth position, which is Europa League, uh, it's about it's about here really. It's about average. Obviously, Arsenal. Arsenal are just like they're never title contenders because they buy people like Ben White for fifty mil. Um, they could have spent a lot. More, like 50 mil you can get a lot better players than Ben White you can probably buy two or three players in my opinion I mean for God's sake Man United bought Varane for I think 30 something plus add-ons uh, but yeah Arsenal are just a very average team like, I, I don't have much to say about Arsenal I love this Smith Road card in FIFA if any of you play uh, but yes in fifth position and just missing out on um, Champions League, as they always do, Leicester. Now, I feel like Leicester always miss out on the Champions League because they bottle it in the last couple of games. They did it last season to Chelsea and Liverpool. Uh, they both got lucky, Chelsea and Liverpool, and we got in third and fourth. Leicester were looking to get Champions League football for the first time in a very long time. But that is my fifth spot position. Now, top four. This is where it gets interesting because I've actually gone a bit controversial considering everything that's happened. But in fourth place, and for the last place of Champions League, so we're only just getting Champions League, I've gone with Chelsea. Now, yes, they are the uh, runners-up of, or not runners-up, sorry, they were the Champions League winners last season. Uh, they've signed people like Lukaku, um, I'm trying to think of anyone else, but nothing else rings a bell. But I feel like Chelsea could have a very good season next season uh, with Timo Werner, Kai Havertz, uh, Bollinger, uh, Lukaku, and like Ziyech and Kante and Mount, you know, you name players and they're brilliant. Even this guy on the screen, Ben Chilwell, could have a good season. Um, but yeah, that is my fourth spot. Now third, this is very con this is very controversial, right? But I'm gonna explain why as soon as you see. There you go. If you guys know that badge, obviously you know. I've gone with Man City third. Now I feel like they had they've had too many good seasons, uh, and they've just spent money on Grealish, and they've just lost to Leicester in a cup final. Yes, they weren't playing their A team, but they were pretty much playing their B team. Um, now I feel like. Man City are not going to have as good of a season. Like Liverpool, we had a good two, three seasons. Uh, and then we didn't have a great season last season. Uh, but I feel like Man City have done it for 10 odd years now. They've been at the top. Um, but I feel like Jack Grealish is going to help them. 
but I feel like the two teams above and the only teams left is um, who I believe is going to uh, is going to win the league and who is going to come second. But I, I know a lot of my comments are going to be like, how can you put City third? They won the league. They basically won the league, the league before, and blah de blah. But I feel like without Aguero, you know, um, yes, he didn't play a massive part, but Foden will probably play striker kind of position, maybe Grealish, uh, like the number 10. Um, but I feel like they're just not going to be able to compete against the next two, which I've actually... I'm actually going to change right now. So, uh, I'm going to show you what I had originally. Now, this was what I had originally. But I'm actually going to swap them round. So, second place, I've gone with Liverpool. I'm just thinking uh, back to Van Dijk coming back. Alisson being really good again. It seems like Robertson has been injured today, actually, in a game. So we will miss him in the first couple of games. Uh, but that won't be too much of an issue, hopefully. Uh, Trent is back to his best. Salah's, you know, Salah's the highest prem goal scorer for the last couple of seasons. Hopefully this man can play a big part. Mane, Kanate maybe even. And then the midfield three of maybe Hendo, Fabinho and Thiago as Ginny left. But, um... I feel like this season could be really close between the top three. But as you guys know, I've gone for Manchester United to win the league. I feel like they're getting the positions that they lacked out on last season. I mean, they only lost to Man City by, I think it was below 10 points, I think. I might be waffling here. But uh, I feel like they've signed a centre-back and... Uh, who else have they signed? They've signed Sancho now. So, like, their team could be David De Gea, Luke Shaw, possibly the best left-back currently in the world. Uh, two centre-backs of Harry Maguire and Varane, right-back of Wan-Bissaka. In the midfield, they need to work on. They need to buy a midfielder. But they've got Fred, McTominay and maybe Pogba. And then uh, Bruno just ahead. And then the front three of, I'm guessing, Rashford, uh, Sancho and Cavani. But Rashford is out for quite a while in the season, I think. But that's my prediction. I feel like Man United are going to win the league. If they can buy a CDM, they could have one of the best sides in the league again. I feel like when you're talking around overall sides... Like, Man United, Man City, Liverpool, you can't tell me a position where there's a bad player. Bar maybe Man United, CDM. Like, I feel like McTominay uh, is just not it. I feel like he'd be better at a team like Brighton or... Uh, no, I'd say he's better than Brighton. I'd give him a team like Crystal Palace or Everton, someone like that. But I feel like in Man United's system and how, like, you know, Bruno, Pogba, their long balls going in, their, you know, free kicks, stuff like that, I feel like they will dominate, um, but not too much. I feel like, points-wise, I feel like Chelsea are going to be close, but not too close. Leicester are going to be just behind Chelsea. Uh, I reckon it's not going to be high scoring though. But I feel like it's going to be kind of high scoring. So I'm going for about 85 points altogether. So I think Man U will get about 85. I reckon Liverpool will get about 83, 82. And then City of about, I'm going 79, 78. But that's my prediction. Uh, I think... I've been as unbiased as I possibly can. I've originally, obviously, I had Liverpool to win the league, but I feel like if I do that, I just get bullied in the comments of being biased. So I've changed this, and to be honest, with the team that Man United might have next season, I definitely feel like they can win the league. I feel like these three 
these three teams of Liverpool, Bruno, not Bruno, Liverpool, Man United and Man City, they're just, I feel like they're miles ahead of teams like Leicester, Tottenham, Arsenal, and then all these teams like Villa could shock, like Villa could finish above both of these. Like Arsenal have bought what a left back and a centre back, centre back that's not even that good, but he's fairly decent. Uh, Tottenham obviously, if they lose Harry Kane, I think they'll finish below Everton, West Ham, and Villa. Personally, they did just beat Arsenal today without Harry Kane, but I feel like Arsenal might just edge it. They seem to always get sixth or either eighth. So um. Yeah, but my relegation, I've gone with, I'm going to go over it again. So 20th place, I've gone with Buendia. Nine, not on my days, I need to stop doing that. So 20th, Norwich. 19th, Watford. 18th, Southampton. 17th, Brentford. 16th, Brighton. Uh, 15th, Newcastle. 14th, um... Crystal Palace, 13th Leeds, 12th Burnley, 11th Wolves, 10th Everton, 9th West Ham, 8th Aston Villa, 7th Tottenham, 6th Arsenal, 5th Leicester, 4th Chilwell, not I'm being a moron man. Uh, fourth, Chelsea. Uh, third, Man City. Second, Liverpool. And first, Bruno Fernandes. Now, uh, let me know if you guys want to see anything like this again. Whether or not you want to, you want me to do maybe any other leagues predicting. I don't really watch any other leagues, but um, I keep up to date with League One as I support Oxford. So. This this player could have, hopefully, a go of a season, uh, wherever he is, wherever he is, uh, not Silas. Um, but yeah, this man I feel like is gonna have a very good season. Hopefully, I can only hope. But um, yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. Let me know what you think. What's your predictions in the comments? Thank you all for watching and we will see you legends in the next one. Bye bye.